50,000 racing fans are with us at Baltimore's Pimlico track as the lead pony escorts War Admiral Number 1 and Seabiscuit to the post for what is to prove the greatest horse race of the century. And this will be a walk-up start. There they go. Seabiscuit has the best of it, so no go. Another try. The Admiral breaks first. Again, no go. Together, and they're off. War Admiral nearest the rail, breaks to his usual fast start. But to beat the Admiral at his own game, Jockey Wolf goes to the whip on Seabiscuit and drives into the front. Now, in slow motion, we show you Seabiscuit in the lead. Racing experts are stunned. Their predictions upset as Seabiscuit gallops to the front at the very beginning of the race. But why not? Look at those rippling muscles. That smooth, powerful stride, as the great California five-year-old veteran of 83 hard-fought races says, catch me if you can. Georgie Wolf keeps his lead over the trailing war admiral as they pass the crowded stand. And the Admiral accepts the challenge. They fly down the back stretch with ground eating strides. Jockey Kurtzinger now calls on the Admiral for more speed. And there he goes. He's catching the biscuit. He's got him. And the battle is on as they run neck and neck like a team in harness. Coming to the home stretch, Kurtzinger is at the whip on War Admiral, running on the outside. Now it's do or die. Jockey against jockey. True thoroughbred against true thoroughbred. And is the blood of man of war. His grandson next the rail, his son on the outside. But no more is it speed. Now it's heart and stamina. And Seabiscuit pulls away to boost his lifetime earnings to $340,000. Seabiscuit, America's undisputed thoroughbred champion.